This video shows you the process of installing JASP on your computer. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is open up your web browser. Then go to jasp-stats.org. Once you load up the JASP website, you should, be, you should see a button here that says Download JASP. Go ahead and click on the link. Then download JASP for your computer. If you have a Windows computer, recommend you uh, pick up the Windows 64-bit if you have a, a modern version of Windows. Uh, for example, during uh, this video, uh, this period in time, Windows 10 is the most prevalent uh, latest operating system from Windows. So go ahead and click on that version. If you're running Mac OS, what you'll want to do is click on the proper version for the version of Mac OS that you're using. For example, uh, the latest version of macOS at this point is Catalina. So that would be if you're running Catalina, you would click on that. If you're running Mojave or High Sierra, uh, for example, you would click on that link. So I'm going to go ahead and I have a Windows computer, so I'm going to go ahead and download the Windows version. Okay. Go ahead and save the install file to your computer. This will take a few moments. It's a relatively large file, so it can take a little while to download. Once you've downloaded the install file, go ahead and click uh, and run it. Read through the terms and conditions and license agreement here if you are interested and then click I accept the terms of the license agreement. Go ahead and click install. Say yes if you're prompted to allow the app to make changes to your device. And depending on how modern your computer is and how fast it is, it can take anywhere between a minute and about five minutes to install. Once the setup wizard is completed, uh, you should, by default, it should say launch JASP, uh, should be checked. If not, go ahead and check the box here. It says launch JASP and then click finish. Now JASP should load for you. And that is the end of this video. You now have JASP installed on your computer, and uh, you can use it for statistical analysis.